now that we do nothing. now that we are speaking about these uh, mythical identities let's talk about the uh, elephant in the room uh, how I feel like I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what about the fact that we as Pashtuns are actually part of the lost tribes of Israel <laughs> <laughs> what what's yeah. your take on that um you know i've read recently a book it's about the tribe of barbers so i mean there are barber ethnicity yeah. in pashtun ethnicity in pakistan yeah. they are also in quetta they are also in kandahar, yeah. uh, in kandahar. they are also in noshera you know and um uh in the beginning of, of the book uh the author goes to this Suleiman mountain and he takes yeah. photographs of a grave and he says that this is actually the tomb of the Hazrat uh, uh, Kas alayhi yeah. salam you know <laughs> yeah. the, 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 that we are actually descended from that you know there are these myths that Pashtuns some leaders of, of Pashtuns went to meet Prophet Muhammad and Uh, they converted to Islam as a whole, and I always wonder how can that be. We never agreed on anything. How could <laughs> we have agreed there? You mentioned you mentioned Mahmoud. You mentioned Mahmoud Ghaznawi, who was actually, I believe, in his time that Pashtuns or Afghans really started to, convert. you know, ju- convert on mass yeah, to exactly, Islam. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, I think he was the one who actually forced also the hill tribes to convert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. So, so, so what was their religion before that? The religion of the Pashtuns. Yeah. Ah, well, Pashtuns. You know, this region is called the Gandahara region. Yeah. Uh, there were people. There are people who are also um, Buddhist followers of the Buddhism. You know, yeah. and uh, if we really go look before that, I think they were pagans. Yeah. Uh, and if sorry, what is a pagan? I, I uh, don't. The one without any belief system, I would oh, say. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Roshan yeah. Fikir. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And actually, this is an interesting thing because uh, um, in in the the Zoroastrian uh, belief system, so they would refer to God, which was Ahura Mazda, as Bagan or something. Yeah. It's something that I heard or read about recently. Yeah. And um, it came out that uh, these people, these Persian Iranic people, would refer to people, to Pashtuns, as someone who would not believe in their God. So we were like the Kafirs, to them, the Kafir yeah. who would not believe <laughs> in their God, you know. And then from there, the Bagan, there was over time became Afghan. Yeah. Ah, so, you know, that's a very so interesting even theory. Like this term is something yeah. that is calling yourself Kafir. You uh, know, like an infidel. Uh, you know, <laughs> so, there's a there's another there's another theory. There's another theory. In uh, my Farsi is not as good as Sangar's, but Fighan in Farsi means to sort of howl or wail. Yes, yes. And there's a theory that the reason Afghans or the the is uh, sort of the one who screams now cry babies yeah Baby. cry babies <laughs> i i was told when i first came across came across this argument yeah. i was told that it was because the afghans historically used to have um very loud war screams like you know war war cries and yeah. war screams but then immediately i asked if this was to do with firan shouldn't it be firani Yeah. Like the 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 one who no, is no, screaming. No, wait, 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 wait. Like that, Avran doesn't make no, sense. No, wait. Uh, there, there, this. T- although this is a really uh, a nonsensical, nonsensical theory, <laughs> uh, let me rationalize it uh, in the way okay. these uh, people who believe that they say, Firan is 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 Farsi for yeah. uh, weep, cry, uh, whatever. Yeah. It's it's not a war cry because Firan is 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 is, is when you're in despair. Okay. okay, so that's the context. But then those oppressing Arabs, they came and colonized us and they made from Parsi, Farsi. Yeah. And then Afghan is the plural of Fehran. Because in Arabic, ah. you know, you say, you say Turk and you say Atrak. Atrak the plural yeah. becomes Atrak. 
So Ferran is an Afghan, Afghan is plural. So that this is the theory behind it. <laughs> I know but it doesn't make any sense. I, I know, it I know, doesn't make but any sense, but almost that's... immediately, almost immediately, the Arab will still refer to a singular Turk as a Turk, whereas yes. we're we're being referred uniformly yeah. to the yeah. the. It's a uh, yeah. I was I I was told the you know it was a war cry. It was like you know because you guys are so mighty no. um, but immediately i was like wait but why don't you just call us ferrani instead yeah. of Avran? but yeah it's uh yeah. And I, mean, you know, I, I would say that there is um you know like pashtun wali itself mm -hmm. is a belief system many people believe in it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> so yeah, many yeah. people believed in it even before yeah. they were uh buddhist or uh, muslim source to say according to nationalists you know so pashtun wali is actually a code of life for them uh, you know this this tribalism was there this buddhism was there and i would not say that pashtuns as a whole were uh, attached to a single belief system so they changed their beliefs over time and i mean so did our ethnicity evolved over time is that our religion i mean of course the 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 rate at which our belief system or religion or association with religion changed it slower than the rate at which our ethnicity evolved but of course both are prone to change and evolve in evolution <laughs> Yes, and and what's important about Pashtunwali is that uh, we have a uh, unwritten code and culture, which is called Pashtunwali. And what's really interesting is that the Chechens they have something si similar, and I think it's called uh, what what is it called again? I, I forgot, but but basically the Chechens they are also people from the mountains. They they are also tribalistic. And before they became Muslims, they had a culture, a unwritten uh, culture, which in many ways is very similar to Pashtun culture. And, and, and the thing is, is that uh, when we talk about our identity, our culture, our values, uh, obviously Pashtunwali is part of our culture and values. And uh, you see a lot of, um, how would you, say that the, the 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 pashtuns interpret islam sometimes in accordance to their pashtun values vice versa you would see that someone who is very uh, uh, uh how do you say very convinced of uh, yeah islam they would say that uh, well uh, uh, the uh, pashtun wali uh, is influenced by sharia so uh, you see that 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 people interpret uh, uh, yeah. aspects of our culture based on their own political and uh, you know, social uh, identity and beliefs. But the, in reality, I would say that yeah, from a historic perspective, yeah, we have as people we have be, we have evolved over centuries. So even our culture and values in evolving, and even uh, our identity is evolving. Uh, and that's why it's important to uh, bear in mind that if you are uh, ident identify as a Pashtun in Pakistan uh, and you identify as a Pakistani, uh, although as Afghans we have a, a very uh, complicated, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, ideas about that, we have to respect that someone can identify as being a Pashtun and Pakistani and we have to respect that. I, I, I think. I mean, I, what other option do you have? Yeah, I, 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 I mean, <laughs> like, know, the, I that's, mean, that's you the, know, like it's 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 not a fatwa that anyone in Afghanistan or in Pakistan would uh, or a certificate would need to have yeah. to claim is Pakistan or is Pashtun. Yes. Of course, <laughs> I mean, it's something that is there with you always. I mean, True. Pakistani people would believe that, and same yeah. goes for other. Yeah. Uh, you know. Um, the the uh, Pashtun Valley. I I would just point out that Pashtun Valley itself it's a it's centuries old code. You know, yes. if you look at it, if you study it, you would know that it has this code of um, it has this inherent code of equality among people. True. So uh, it's really 
kind of a democratic. It has this parliament, which is we call Jirga. Yeah. It has this concept of uh, um, Tiga, to make peace. To yeah. have this, uh, you know, like if they're in times of war, if you go and you say, well, let's have this, uh, let's end it and let's have some peace. Then there is Nanavate, which Kakar earlier also mentioned. They're really which, great things. Which Abdul Rahman didn't respect. Yeah, which, I mean, when you look at it, when you look at Pashtunwali yeah. from that perspective and really understand it, you would say that the modern world is kind of when you look at the democratic world when you look at the human rights world, well fine there is also revenge there are also codes against women but there are also things that which are really great and why not any Pashtun would feel proud about it they, yeah. they, they have the right to feel good about it you know? this is a very interesting discussion and I'm glad Sanger you mentioned the, the Chechens and I've always noticed sort of the similarities I think maybe one day we should sort of invite an anthropologist to yeah. the podcast to discuss how and why these similarities occur you know in, in the, amongst different people so yeah. just, to, well, just why to not I mean I mean, sure. I mean, you sh should invite an expert, but yeah. you look at it as as a, as humans. Uh, if you trace back, you, of course, you, you would not be Tajik, Afghan, uh, or Hazara, or any uh, Punjabi for that matter. At some point, you were on a higher a level where you were more unified then and then yeah. you try to spread out you know uh, you just look at the language and you find so much similarity yes. uh, where you would say how yeah. can this happen that this yeah. word is exactly the same spoken in Afghanistan and really closed valley with no access at yeah. all and it's something that's also spoken in Europe and in German you know, it's uh, like it's like in English right yeah. one two three Pashto is yell dre. Yeah. Right? It's like just in that that you can see the similarities. Or in Farsi it's Yakdu Se or uh, wait, because wait, they all belong. Wait, in Russian is it's Adin Dva Tri. It's even more similar <laughs> to Pashto. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there are more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are papers and works that I have read, and you would be really amazed. And I mean, it just points to that one fact that, of course, it, these are humans are the ones who have divided themselves across yeah. geographic boundaries, and uh, some people got yeah. concentrated in one pocket of the world, and other people yeah. there. But I mean, there was a time when we were not <laughs> that different. True. from each other 